Welcome to Hollywood's How To's, a by the numbers guide to creating your next big formulaic film. And in this video, we're dissecting Annabelle Creation. We're gonna go through it step by step to figure out just how to construct a generic horror film. And we're starting right now. Now guys, before we start, I just want to emphasize one thing loud and clear. Take everything you thought you knew about storytelling, clog your toilets with that useless crap, and leave one word on your mind. Money. As long as you're thinking money, nothing else matters. Sell those tickets and you'll eventually shit the golden stinker. Step 1. Establish your cinematic universe. You can't be marketable in Hollywood unless your film resides in a cinematic universe. Since Marvel got it right, it automatically applies to all aspects of filmmaking. Think Dark Universe, DC Extended Universe, we've got gold here, folks. Here we are in the Conjuring universe. Bet you knew that was coming when the first movie came out, didn't ya? But here's a step you mustn't forget before moving on to step two. Ignore what Marvel did. Do not, I repeat, do not plan your universe before making the first movie. Make your Man of Steel, your Fantastic Beasts, your Mummy, make your first movie, and then pick up the pieces the rest of the way. There's gotta be some teeny tiny thread in that first movie that can be fabricated into something resembling a drunk spider weaving a web. Trust me, your audience will buy into it. Step two, move that camera around. And not the chair, the camera. Don't take those hands off that mount. Frame those shots so you can only see the terrorized character, but do it extra early. In my past lectures, I've always emphasized the extra early part because your audience wants to know when they're gonna be scared. Don't trick them. So that extra time allotted that you've just put in there clues your audience in so they can prepare to be scared. I guarantee they'll still jump from that carefully planned pesky jump scare you threw in there. Oh, and throw in some old-timey music as well. And I know at this time you want to scream at your audience, you want to ask them if they're scared yet, but sadly movies are a one-way deal. So now's a good time to rely on that extra music to serve as those dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun moments. My sunshine Step three, mask your monster in uncertainty. Still got that money on your mind? I sure hope so. If not, go back to step one and we'll still be here waiting when you return. Your monster needs to have that one image that teenagers will remember. Like... Like... A doll. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. But after that, really take those monster powers to the next level. It can keep changing if you want, no one's gonna question it. So unleash the inner demon. Let it be a little girl, a poorly costumed devil. Let it be invisible or even a scarecrow. Contorting limbs, creepy crawly lady, immune to religious symbols. Dump all of those familiar tropes in there. And what the hell? We'll take some risks on this one. What if your monster threw up on the victim Evil Dead style? Are you scared yet? Step four. Make the logical illogical. Rule schmools, people. So let's say you have a barn right here and you have a bunch of girls playing right here. Now the victim gets dragged into the barn and all the walls and doors start slamming. It doesn't matter if nobody hears it. This is where imaginations will start creating the rules and it'll happen multiple times throughout the movie. Step five, Rogue won that shit. Have you forgotten already? This is a universe. If you haven't fabricated your universe from that one single scene, then here's one more chance to go back to that first movie and do that. Now end your movie as a direct tie-in. It doesn't have to be Rogue One to New Hope seamless, no, not at all. If you have to jump, what, 12 extra years later just to tie it all together, even if the movie is technically over, Rogue won that shit. And you just created your first formulaic horror movie and created a universe in the process. You feel dirty yet? Cause it's probably from all that money you're raking in. Well that's all we have today folks. I'm Rob of Rob Duda Reviews and for more Hollywood how-tos on generic filmmaking you can like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's money. It's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you 
in the next one.